So instead of Hot Wheels today, I'm going to show off a bunch of Mexican candies that I got at uh, some Mexican stores in uh, Walmart and other stores. Um, the first thing I'm going to show you is this one. Uh, most of this stuff I've tried, but this is probably something that I haven't tried yet. Um, this was 99 cents. Uh, at this one store, they sell some of these candies, you know, in little individual bags. Um, some of the other candies they sell do come in like big bulk bags so I think they sell it in this because it's a lot easier to sell than like five dollars for a whole bag anyway so I'm, I'm gonna try at least one of these it's hard to open for me at least I'm gonna try this one the one that's strawberry and I think hazelnut these are like little packets and they each have a little spoon for it um, I think this is actually a sweet one. A lot of the candies that I buy are usually hot and spicy. Um, or at least have some kind of kick to it. Um, here it is. And we'll open it. So since this was 99 cents, it's around a quarter a package. Now I won't eat the whole thing, I'll just try it. It's hard to open it because my thumb is actually in a cast. Um, and I'll pause the video and I'll open it. Okay, so I opened it, and it does have a good smell. I'll take the little spoon. I got a little on my fingers. Um, I'll try it. Try a little bit of the uh, hazelnut part. Looks like chocolate, but it's actually hazelnut, it says. It's pretty good. And the next part, which is the strawberry part, if I can get it without mixing it. Oh, well, if I mix it, and mix it. Tastes pretty good. Tastes just like um, strawberry ice cream. You know, like the kind you'd get in the regular store. Hmm. I don't know if um, this is something like you would spread on a cracker or something, but it's uh, pretty good. Um, yeah, so this you could probably find in a Mexican shop. I don't think I've seen it at any like, big stores like Walmart. But um, the next thing I got was another one of these little bagged candies for 99 cents called Mini Mammoth. Um, yeah, so we'll open that. I think this one might be sweet. Let's see. Um, let's see, the packaging. Now, some of the candies I actually bought are actually made by Hershey's. I don't know which ones they are. I think one of them was. Yeah. So I don't know if this is actually authentic Mexican. It is in Spanish, so it could be uh, made in Mexico. We'll try it. Um, I remember having some of these candies as a kid. And uh, I think there was a, a lead scare with Mexican candy. And a lot of it got pulled from the market. I used to buy it from a grocery store in my area. And it's finally closing down. And it's been there for like 27 years. Uh, I'm going to have to cut it. Let's see how it tastes. I'll only take a little nibble. Let's see. Okay. Smells good. It smells coconutty. Well, here it is. Weird shape. Kind of deformed. But we'll see how it tastes. Yeah, so it's like, I guess it's like how a moon pie is. Kind of like two wafers with some cream in the middle. And it does taste like coconut. And it's pretty good. Let's pause the video for a sec. The next candy that I have is called Pulperino. I've actually tried this before, but not this particular flavor. Um, I've seen it at a couple stores. Walmart sells it for like two thirty-seven, dollars and save a lot. I'm not sure how big Save a Lot is if it's everywhere, but um, yeah, it was a it was actually cheaper at Save a Lot than Walmart, but since Walmart's a bigger company, better chance of finding it. Um, I think I went to Walmart looking for Mexican candies one day, and uh, they didn't actually have any, but now I guess they got them in. I don't know. Sometimes I think Walmart reads your mind, and then they start putting stuff out. 
but uh, this is by De La Rosa. Um, what's cool about these, they come in like uh, little packages, like what you would see at uh, checkout lanes and stuff. Um, these are pretty cool. I think there's at least three flavors I know of. Um, here's the back if you want to see that. Um, there's a regular flavor and a spicy flavor and I guess this one. Um, and it says it's made out of real fruit. I'm not really familiar with that kind of fruit. Um, I think I remember seeing what it is. It's called, uh, uh, we'll just read that information if you want. But we'll open it. Uh, let's see, you gotta find a good corner. I do have the two other flavors. Uh, we'll just, uh, nibble on this one and see how it tastes. I'll probably eat them all three. Let's see here. Dang. Trying to get a... Okay. You can actually smell it through the box. It has kind of like a, a woody, nutty smell. Just hold on a sec. Okay, this is why I meant that came in a little display box, like what you'd see at the checkouts. Um, they are, like, marked for individual sale, but on the back somewhere it says they aren't. Anyways, it kind of looks like what you'd sell in the store. Um, yeah, so this is like $2 a package. At the most, maybe $2.50. Anyways, we'll take a good look at it before I try it. Here's the packaging. And uh, here's the back. I'll have to cut it with the scissors. Again, I hurt my thumb, and that's why I'm having a little hard time with these packages. Let's see. Open it. We'll take it out, and then we'll take a look at what the product actually looks like. Okay. We got it. Mess. I'm not sure how spicy this is actually going to be. I think this might be pretty weak. You can see it's like a, a blackish color or brownish color. Let me take a bite out. Yeah, this tastes pretty good. Um, To compare the watermelon flavor, it tastes more like a watermelon jelly rancher. It has a spicy kick to it. A lot of these candies, what they have in common, they're salty and spicy. Which in a lot of candies, they aren't like that. Um, there are a lot of Mexican candies that are more like that. Now we'll set that one aside. Um, that's the next one. This is actually pretty good. I'd recommend that if you want to try it. It's a little spicy, but not too spicy. Um, the next one... Is this one? Um, it's just a regular flavor, I guess. Uh, I'll cut it up. Okay, so here it is. Um, let's compare it to the other flavor. It's a little darker brown compared to that one. Um, I did bring this to work one day, and a lot of people I offered it to, everyone I offered it to, uh, didn't like it. Um, but anyways, it's not really that spicy. I've had it before. It's actually one of my favorites. It's got a kick to it, and it's, you know, pretty good. The next one is a little spicier, and there is a difference in uh, looks. I think it has, like, a different texture. I'll show it to you. And here's the spicier version. Um, as you can see, it's got a little tinge of this powder-like stuff on there. Um, let's see, I'm trying to get the other one to show comparison. And we'll take a bite of it. One thing all three of these have in common, they both look kind of like um, turds. It's a weird color. I think they actually make a lollipop. Like... With this kind of uh, candy, and it's not really that. I don't really like it. it's real 
weird tasting. I think it tastes better as this. Okay, um... The next candy I have is this one called Palom Pelo Rico. Um, which is a pretty cool candy. It comes in a little container-like thing. Um, it has a little character on there. Because it actually comes out of a little thing. I'll show it to you in a minute. And it kind of looks like uh, Play-Doh. Um, this is Tamarindo Original Flavor. I think this comes in several flavors. I think this one is pretty easy to find. Um, I bought this whole bag at Walmart. I think it was a couple bucks. A little under three, I think. Um, it's a 12-pack. And uh, this is actually one of my favorites. I think I remember the kids in school actually ate these a lot. And I never really got it. Um... Yeah, let me see the back. If there's any ingredients you'd like to know about it. But anyways, I got one right here. And what's good about it is it has a resealable cap, so if you don't want to eat it all at one time, you can do that. And one thing it does, it you press on the bottom and it comes out like Play-Doh. If anybody ever played with Play-Doh. Uh, let's see if I can push this out. And then all these containers, they come in different shapes, or actually sizes. I think there are one smaller than these, and then they just keep getting bigger. Uh, we'll give it a lick. And this is uh, pretty good. I think they, sometimes they sell these in the stores for like uh, 50 cents or so. And this isn't really spicy. It has like maybe a little spice to it, but not a whole lot. It's more sweet than anything. And when you're done or you don't feel like eating anymore, you just put the cap on. Usually towards the end, what I like to do is pull the plunger out. And then lick whatever's left. Um, usually I use like a um, needle nose pliers to get that out. It's real difficult. Let's see, next candy. Go with this one. Tamarines. Tambourines, whatever it's called. These are pretty cool. They do have a kick to it, but they're not really um, that spicy. Um, I don't know. Some people might have a different spice receptor than me. Because I remember my dad was eating something that wasn't too spicy. And he thought it was spicy. But it wasn't even Mexican food. It was like Italian or something. I dropped a piece. Well, let's see, you get one that's not broken up. Now these are pretty cool, they they taste real good. Um, when I first bought them, I tried it once and I ate up almost the whole bag in one time. And uh, here it is, we'll take it out. Now, the main reason what got me into Mexican candy, I, uh, I was watching a YouTube video where these people, they were uh, tasting uh, Mexican candy. All different kinds of Mexican candy. And uh, I decided, hey, maybe I should go get some. I think after a while, um, I went to the store that I normally go to. And they used to have a lot of it, and then they didn't have it. So months went by, and then I decided to go to this Mexican store on the way to work. Um, which I did end up buying a whole bunch of candy. Um, I think I spent like 10 bucks. It wasn't a whole lot. You get a whole lot for 10 bucks. And stuff I don't like, uh, a lot of people at work will buy it off of me because there are a couple Hispanic people working at uh, another line there um, yeah so we'll taste it now this one kind of dissolves in the mouth um, after a while it's real sweet With a real, with a kind of spicy end to it. But all in all, it's pretty good. Um, next candy. Um, we'll go with this one. It's actually something that I think I had as a kid. Or something very similar. Similar. It's called Limonoso. It's a salty, lemony candy. Um, some of the candies that they have, 
what that they have down the candy aisle they're similar to this aren't really candy there was something called lemon and chili I think it's called that and it actually says not candy in the package it's actually for fruit and uh and uh vegetables um yeah so let me rinse my mouth out just to get the flavor down so it doesn't clash okay so well, we'll open it and see how it looks. This one was actually been open for a while, so hopefully it didn't change any of the flavoring. But it could have changed the texture. And it has a real lemony smell. Um, let's see, I may have to cut this video short because I'm very close to the end of my uh, thing. So after this candy, um, we'll go into a part two, I guess. So we'll taste it. And this candy is kind of good. It's got two things that kids, or one thing at least kids like, and that's sour. But it's also pretty salty. Um, as a kid, I didn't care much for this one. But as an adult, it actually tastes pretty good. But anyways, I hope you liked this video. And I hope you, you know, think about choosing some of these candies next time you go into a store that has them. Anyways, you can like, share, comment, just subscribe. And have a nice day.